Gosh, dog it, I just bought this brand new sequence from that guy out there. There ain't no darn timing mark for me to work with. Says he ain't gonna include them in his sequences. I know he's good and all, but maybe I could get some marks in there to make my life easier when I'm mapping. Well, guess what? Now you can. <laughs> I always find it funny that uh, some businesses will uh, sort of hold things back for whatever reason. Oh, you're going to steal it. You're going to copy it. Oh, I put all that work into it and you're paying for my sequence. That you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. Well, <laughs> I think maybe you do. Now, I can't control what people sell sequences for. I can only control what I do. But I can tell you, x Lights continues to move the mark in the right direction, making it easier for everybody, whether you're buying other people's sequences or getting the shares, to make timings great again. And I'm going to show you how to do that today in today's Monday Minutes. I'm Ron. I'm with Extreme Sequences. I am the founder, the owner, the janitor, and the complaint department all in one in my little bitty business. Been in business for, oh, I don't know, eight years or so. And uh, you learn a lot of things. And today, it's all about teaching a few things. In this segment of Monday Minutes, I want to show you what's coming down the pipe. What's going to be released in the next version? And I think you're going to like this. This is pretty neat. A lot of people map sequences. I certainly spend a lot of time mapping sequences. And uh, nothing's more frustrating than trying to figure out how to line things up if there are no timings. Now, sure, sure, we can right-click on... Uh, a, a section of effects and tell it just copy all the effects and paste them perfectly somewhere else. But it sure is awfully nice having timings for you to eyeball and line things up. But if you don't have those timings, I'm going to show you just how to make sure you do get them based on guess what? Based on effects. How about we have X lights create timings where an effect exists. Let's get started. Here we go. Before I show you this, smash that thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. We love it when you do that. And uh, we'll continue bringing you these Monday minutes. Let's get going. All right, before you, you see a sequence that's playing here. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Audio silent. Mm -mm. Yeah, here we go. Oh, can you hear it? No, you shouldn't. There we go. That's beautiful. So this is Burning Down the House. Such a great song for a Christmas sequence, don't you think? I do. Here we go. I have no timings on here. I mean, I have Burning Down the House. I have the singing faces. So that's, that's great. But if I wanted to copy this and paste it somewhere, uh, wouldn't it be nice to have timings? And sure, I can go up here and start hitting the T and trying to perfectly line it up by holding down my command key and just really get in here and, and, and do this manually. Or I could let X-Lights do it for me. Now, this will be out in 2024.14, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is make sure that I have no timing selected. I'm, I need to create a timing, so I'm going to add a timing. I'm just gonna use the empty, empty works. And that's all I need. Now it's important, just make sure you don't select any timings. And now we can grab a whole bunch of things. Now, if you want to grab something that's from the start of the song, you can. You could take this section here, and maybe this is what we want. Maybe we want to take all the pixels, and let's just make sure we grab all of these, including these little guys here. Now you can select your timing. And by the way, just, just make sure you have one timing. We'll talk about timings, yeah, that, that pesky thing where you have maybe three, four, or five timings selected all at one time. I'm going to try to get rid of that in just a second. But right now, right click on any one of your effects and you'll see that there is a new menu item in the drop down called Create Timing. Select that. There you go. Boom. This has been Monday Minutes. Thanks so much.
<laughs> I mean, that's really all there is to it. And this creates all the timings. And if you needed more and something wasn't grabbed, you could simply go to another section, grab those and right click in the same section and continue adding timings. Or you could just create a new one. Perhaps you just wanted to create specific timings for the mega tree and specific timings for the matrix and specific timings for whatever model or group that you're messing with in the sequence. What I love about this is it's so fast. And now when I'm in that mopping, uh, mopping process, I might be mopping up. I did say I'm the janitor of my company as well. In that mapping process, you might want to go through sections by sections when you are mapping uh, unlike models. In other words, if you have something from Charlie's props and you have something for me, you're trying to map to it and I don't have any of his props in my show. Well, you might be able to go through here and find one of my uh, models and effects and say, I'm going to grab this section here. Maybe I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come down to this section that might be someone else's model that's not in my show and basically just paste this here. And there you go and start playing. Simple, simple, simple to do. This isolates the sections for you to quickly get through the mapping process when you're trying to add things. Now, this is taking into consideration that you may not want to do this in the mapping process from the importing of effects. I do that initially, but there are times I want to see the instant feedback or the playback from the effects as I'm dropping them in the different submodel groups. This is very, very, very important. So this is a wonderful tool for those of you that may be getting sequences from other people that don't include timing marks. Well, they don't have to. Now, do keep in mind, this does not automatically uh, replace the timing marks they may be using for special effects such as using value curves. This isn't going to automatically bring that in. So maybe you need to talk to your uh, vendors about that if you're missing that. Uh, a lot of the uh, timings will work whether they're included or not. They'll still be honored in the sequence if you don't see them. Okay. Now let's get to something else that's uh, pretty interesting that was added. If I right click on my edit display elements, you're going to see here, I do actually have in uh, my main sequence view here, I'm going to bring over all of these other timings. I'm just going to, there's my master, here's my sequence view. I'm going to go ahead and click on these other four timings here, and I'm going to scoot these over. And I'm going to get out of this. And so now in this sequence view, uh, I can select all of these at one time. Now this is in this main sequence view. Okay. Uh, if you've ever run across this and this annoys you and then you have to go through here and you have to deselect, deselect. Well, there's been a new uh, item added to key bindings, which allows you to turn off all timings with a shortcut command. And what I did, it was I trained mine to uh, create a command using key bindings and I went to the bottom here and you'll see here that I have select no timing. So I created one that is simple as shift F2. So I'm going to count close out of this. So if I hit shift F2, it's supposed to turn these off, but, but it doesn't because I'm in my view shift F2, not turning them off. However, if I were to change this to my master view and then I hit shift F2, they all disappear. So why am I showing you this? Well, I'm hoping the devs will see this and help me understand better why this isn't working as I would think it would. In the master view, I can click on one timing, but I cannot select more than one. So I can still use the shift F2 and turn them all off. So I guess that helps instead of me having to move my mouse three to four inches, which, you know, really carpal tunnel is a serious thing. So maybe this is, uh, uh, maybe this is really, really good. So I have to be in my main sequence view to have more than one timing selected, but the shift F2 doesn't work. Maybe it's a Mac thing. I don't know. Maybe it works fine on Windows. You tell me if this works fine on Windows for you. Well, you can't yet. You have to go into the future. You're going to need to go to uh, 2024.14. But when you do get there and you remember this, let me know. 
Again, if I were to just change this to master view, it holds these, then I can hit my shift F2. Or if I just click one of these timings, look what happens. If I deselect empty, well, they all just disappear anyway. Okay. Anyway, that's a key binding thing. Uh, maybe they will get that sorted, or I am sure a dev, one or two, will chime in in my YouTube comments, which is where I want to hear from you beautiful people on what you think about this stuff, will let me know my, the errors of my way. All right. With that, let's look at some other things that are coming down. If you're the kind of person that likes turning on servos and turning off servos and making those Santas do this and just you just into that stuff, I think it looks really, really cool. And uh, there's been a lot of changes, enhancements with the servos. Uh, there's just a whole list here of things coming down. I was uh, chatting with Dan and he says, yeah, man, he goes, look, if you're into servos, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. And I'm not just yet. I'm, I'm sure I will get there. And I may be forced to now because those guys that I laugh at, look what they sent me. Look at that puppy. How beautiful is that? This thing is amazing. I don't know what it does. I really don't. Well, I do. I do. I do know. And of course, on the backside, uh, again, if you got it upside down, uh, you're a numpty. So yeah. If you can read this, you're looking at the wrong side of the board and it's dangerous. Uh, so this is a new uh, controller thingy dingy from the folks in the UK at I Like That. And this is gonna be great for working with servos. And again, if you're not sure what it does, you just take your phone and you put it on this uh, bar thing. Uh, let, me, let me get it right, <laughs> barcode. So I'll just type in bar B-A-R. It gets me this thing here. See, see, that, 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 that's me. And then I'll just scan it and I'll click the docs. There we go. Introduction to all this good stuff. And so basically Baldrick switchy features, five to 24 volt, four relays, eight amps to 300 volts, eight amps and 300 volts, AC, DC, also compatible with zero voltage circuit. I mean, so there's just a whole bunch of stuff on here. So at some point in my busy life, I hope to hook up something to this and, I don't know, maybe turn on a windshield wiper. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I also carry the Extreme Baldrick. Of course, you can get the Baldrick from Wiredwatch. You can get it from Gilbert Engineering. You can get them in Australia. I mean, it's a $65 eight-port controller. You can't go wrong with that. And there have been a whole bunch of updates to that as well. So, again, their support is proving to be pretty doggone good. It certainly has a niche in our world of lighting. Uh, if you're looking for a controller uh, that's more economically obtained, that's probably the one for you. All right. There is that. Uh, the rest of this, there's a lot of good stuff coming from the devs who continue to push the boundaries with x Light. So uh, show a little gratitude with attitude. Tell them you love them. Uh, consider sending them a few bucks. That would really help them out, I am sure. And if you're a vendor, yeah, you should send them a few bucks, I think. There we go. That's that. I hope you enjoyed that segment. Uh, I am not sponsored by any of these vendors or products. I talk about them because I like them or love them. And they're part of what I may use in my show, or I think they may have a profound impact on what we do in the hobby. There are a lot of great vendors out there, so I'm sorry if I didn't mention all of them or specific ones. I, I, I do what I can. The main focus really is to educate and share what I do with lights and hopefully things that will help you along your lighting journey when it comes to a holiday light show. There's so much to learn. Uh, the needle constantly moves and it's hard to keep up with. So drop me a comment on some things you'd like to see. I know mapping is gonna be one that I've been working on, trying to make that easier, but drop me some comments on things you would love to see me do a Monday Minutes on for all of you. All right, that's all I've got for you. This has been Monday Minutes, I'm Ron. See you next week. Yeah.